So Steve, who are you and why are we here? I'm one of the uh, founding partners of Target Telemetrics and the reason we're here is we're going to do a demonstration of a, uh, an accurate and fast way to always get the right data out of your shotgun patterning. A uh, very simple process, you'll see it here as we uh, take a shot, photograph and then analyze and within seconds have the information that would have taken hours in the past. Okay, sounds good and we have a target all set up at a laser verified 40 yards. We've got a Benelli Vinci ready to go, all bagged up. We're going to be shooting federal one ounce, number seven and a half target loads. So let's take a couple shots and we'll see what we what we come up with. Let's do Fair it. enough. Okay, this will be our first shot with a Benelli three inch Vinci. We have a True Lock Precision Hunter modified choke, and as mentioned, we're using federal one ounce target loads. 1180 foot per second, number seven and a half shot. Let's see what happens. I'll zoom in on the target. Not exactly a shoot and see, but uh, maybe we can get some idea of the pellet impact. So let's go analyze target number one. Okay, so our first shot had a pattern efficiency of 58.5%. We're going to repeat the exact same procedure, two more shots, same gun, same shell, same true lock precision hunter modified choke to get a three shot pattern average. So this will be shot number two. And we'll go down and take a quick picture of the image and see what type of variation we have. <laughs> consistent as we're already finding. Our first shot was roughly 58% pattern percentage and that jumped all the way up to 68% pattern percentage approximately. Same gun, same choke, so we're going to do a third one. And that's why it takes a minimum of three shots to give you a good, reliable pattern now. You see quite a bit of variation, shell to shell? Particularly in the cheaper loads. Okay. Yeah, the, uh, because people like cheap. Yep. You know, people like cheap. And cheap means less controls. Well, it's got to come from somewhere. 